The new year blared into the pitch black morning sky like a gunshot wound. For a long foreboding moment everything was totally silent, and then the first of the morning birds began to twitter as if it had been caught unawares, and he became aware of sound everywhere, all around him, rushing in upon him. There was the hushed roaring of a sea somewhere up ahead in the darkness where land and water met the sky, a point which was even now being rent apart by the widening bloody gash of a dawn. It should have been a beautiful sight, he realised, a fresh new day, a fresh new year, all of the chances and opportunity and even redemption which that could bring with it. But it looked ugly and macabre, bloody and violent. The previous year's mild autumn had finally surrendered to a mercilessly cold winter, which showed every sign of becoming crueler still. He didn't mind. He could stand the cold. He didn't feel much of it as he stood waiting for the landscape to be revealed to him. He was well used to it, and if anything, the sharper temperatures made him feel sharper in turn, brought an edge to his every sense that otherwise felt dulled and overwhelmed during the muggy summer months. Yes, this was his season, he reasoned. The darkness, the cold, the sharpness, the shadows, the mystery. Sunlight came and revealed the world in all its ugliness, yet winter cloaked it in secrecy and allowed him to forget those aspects he would rather not believe in. Sometimes it seemed as though the world was no bigger than the confines of his own head, and that suited him just fine. The wind whistled its way across the sand dunes, rustling in the long grasses, rattling mounds of pebbles, fighting against the surf. More birds called out and the sky began to bruise, purple and yellow, like flesh gone bad. Soon he would return home and sleep. He'd had very little of it last night, but he'd wanted to be up early to make the pilgrimage down to the shoreline and watch the sun hoist itself out for sea. He was dreaming lately, and sometimes in his dreams the sun failed to rise and the world remained eternal night and infinitely cold and lonely. At first the dreams had made him awake with a smile, but more and more they were beginning to unsettle him, and his walk this morning had felt like trying to reassure himself that they could not come true. He'd scarcely been able to breathe whilst waiting for the first sign of the vermilion dawn. Yes, soon he would return home, retrace his steps through the deserted lanes on the edge of a coastal village and try to sleep. Though it had been New Year's Eve the previous night, he'd brought the girl back home with him early enough. She hadn't taken much persuading to leave the crowds to their celebrations whilst they made their own. Much of the rest of the night was the very vaguest of blurs in his mind and it hurt like a sore tooth whenever he probed that spot but he knew what the outcome of it had been, of course. There'd never been any doubt that it would be. He looked down at himself in the tinged morning light, and the imminent sunrise made the stains on his clothing and hands as ruby red as the most expensive wine. It almost, almost looked beautiful. He really would have to go back soon. He hadn't realised just how much blood there was. People in the village tended to wake early, there were old folks walking dogs at the crack of dawn even on these coldest of days, and the last thing he needed was a busybody, was to be disturbed. He wanted only to be left alone, he wanted only to crawl back into his burrow and close his eyes and shut out the sunlight and a new day which would turn as sour as every other. He wanted to find that heart of unstoppable blackness deep within himself and sink into it until blackness and oblivion became everything and he could lose himself in a sleep that was as all-encompassing as death that would bring no dreams and no memories. The time would come for him to wake and then he might feel more prepared to keep moving on, to get rid of a girl, to think about his next step. He never planned, never thought far ahead. He didn't know where life was taking him, but he feared it in a way he could not articulate even to himself, and so he largely just lived from one moment to the next. The sun was beginning to force itself out of the sea, a fiery ball of neon. 
He almost expected it to be running with water as it ascended into the purple sky. He turned away from it, and from the golden path that it was laying for itself across the waves towards the shore where it could find him. He walked onwards without looking back, towards the bulky silhouette of a village outskirts hiding amongst the trees. The wind moaned and cried, the waves whispered, the birds whistled. He closed his eyes to remind himself of a darkness which had used to be his only reassurance, but saw only red. Blood red 